How to play to win in life and business. In this video, I will show you how to think clearly and stop losing confidence in yourself. Why is it so easy to get discouraged and give up? You know, there, there are two types of mindsets that control whether we persist or quit. The first mindset is a fixed mindset. When you have a fixed mindset, your perception is limited and your options are limited. But when you have a growth mindset, you start considering your opportunities, you start looking at where you want to go, you start looking towards your future. You start thinking about what your future self would look like and your identity would be like. You know, there's one thing that you need to know that, you know, if you're going to have the confidence and courage, you need to have the competence. So you need to have these three C's, courage, confidence, and competence. And the way that you get the confidence is that you have to have courage first. And the way that you have courage is to take action. That's the competence aspect of it. So when you have courage and confidence, it's because you've taken action. That's it. But if you have fear, then you will get paralyzed and you will procrastinate and hesitate and you won't move forward. And that is a signal to the world and the universe and all the people around you that you are not capable of handling what you are thinking of doing. And that's why a growth mindset is so critical because when you have a growth mindset, you are taking actions, you're taking incremental steps, you can see the progress, you can reflect each day, each week, each month, and look back and see what you've done. So think about this from this context. Would you ever climb Everest? Would you ever just get on a plane and, and pack a backpack and just start climbing Everest? No, you wouldn't. And in fact, one of my friends did prepare and climb Everest and it took him eight months. So he prepared for eight months of training, physical fitness and practice and training and getting his mind aligned and set and getting his team set up so that they could climb Everest. Because Everest, you know, from a standpoint from watching it on a video, looks like it's pretty easy. And there are some scary moments, but the whole thing is really scary, freaking scary, in fact. So, you know, people will die doing this, die trying. And there are people that do it all the time they are called Sherpas. So if you hire a Sherpa, you know that they've done it multiple times. They know when things are right, when things are wrong. They are probably very intuitive as well. So they know when the conditions are right, the weather conditions and so on. They can see the signals, the way the clouds are forming and so on. So these are the kinds of things that you want to have to help you to have the courage and confidence. You want to take action but move with somebody or an idea or a perspective and move forward with that you know so you wouldn't climb that mountain by yourself you would hire somebody and get them to help you and that's the way you have to look at life and and how a growth mindset is established so um, you know for every time we feel uplifted uh, there will be a time when we feel down there's always these 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 dichotomies this binary universe we're living in you know we have up down in out night day uh, you know we have two sides to every coin, right? Heads and tails. So if you break it down, you know, then uh, you, you realize that what's happening is we are controlled by certain things, specifically our habits. And our habits are basically a combination of our be beliefs, attitudes, and practices. And our habits are like an elast elastic band. And unless we snap that elastic band, like we keep on working towards something new and we snap it in half, it will snap back into place and it will pull us right back down to earth. It's called habit gravity. It has a gra gravitational pull and it pulls on us and brings us back down to where we were unless we develop a growth mindset. The fixed mindset is that we believe that everything is the way it is because of our parents, because of our circumstances, because of our environment, and we often blame others and we say, you know, if it weren't for my spouse or my children, I would be doing something else. If I didn't have to devote so much time and attention to taking care of them and, and you know, holding their hands and taking care of my parents all at the same time, uh, you know, I'm in a sandwich generation. I have young kids and I have old parents and I have to take care of both of them and it's really painstaking, you know. You want to move to power. So if that's painstaking, how do you move to power? You move to power by having a growth mindset. You move to power by taking action. You read, study, and learn. Learn what you need to do to take the steps, to climb that mountain, and to snap that habit elastic band so that you can break through and get 
up to the and get on to the next level, get to the next base camp. That's how it works. You know, if you're climbing a, a, a virtual mountain and you're trying to get up this mountain and it's very difficult and it's hard and it's treacherous, treacherous and you're feeling like, yeah, you know what, I could just go back to base camp. You know, that's you're in what's called the Valley of Despair and you could go back to base camp. You could go back to where it's safe and secure or you could keep climbing. And if you keep climbing, then you will start breaking through. You'll develop the confidence and the courage and you will break through to that next level. So your mindset matters a heck of a lot. You know, for every time you try to do something and you fail, that's a learning experience, right? And you have to have faith that you'll get the best people and move forward and you'll climb. You know, here's the thing. Faith is being believing when it is beyond or faith is believing when it is beyond the power of reason to believe. That's what faith is. And I also got a nice plaque over here that says faith is being sh- sure of what we hope for and certain of what we don't see. So if you think about it, fear and faith are two opposites. Fear is an emotion. Faith is something that we work on. So when you have faith, you trust that things are going to work out for you. You will step forward. You will have that growth mindset and you will keep stepping forward, moving forward and assessing what's going on as you go forward and seeing how that feels. And if it feels good, you'll keep moving. You know, I once heard uh, Mick Jagger say in an interview when they were first starting, you know, how long are you going to, uh, how long do you think this will go for? Or how long will you keep producing music for? And he says, well, maybe another year. And, you know, that's probably, you know, 40, 50 years ago, and now they're still making music, but you know he at least had his mindset a few if, a year out. He had a growth mindset, looking towards his future and moving towards it. Basically, this is what a growth mindset looks like. It's when you look to your future and you start visualizing what that's like and what it will feel like and what you will be doing in order to enjoy that kind of experience. And then you also build it from your current reality. You build it from the point of pain. You're on pain island and you're trying to move to pleasure island or to your power. And in order to move from one to the other, you have to build a bridge. And the way you build that bridge with a growth mindset is that you picture your future, you see yourself in your future, you see what that feels like, you know what that looks like, and you want it. It's motivating you, it's pulling you forward. And then you are in your current reality, which is painstaking, you don't like it, you don't like the circumstances, you want something more, something better, and that's pushing you forward. So you have something pushing you as you're building your bridge across, and then you also are building your bridge back from your future to your current reality and they will meet in the middle and then you will have broken through and you will have a new reality a new perspective and you will have a different environment everything will change that's what happens when you have a growth mentality so what are you going to do differently now that you have this information think about it write some things down and think about how you can take action today to work towards your courage and your confidence and take some actions that are going to feel good for you You've got this. I've got your back. Speak soon.